We're back with more AOE Leagues 2v2 action. A Division F set here between Mascarela and Ryodan A. Uh, Mascarela here in the blue and red. We have Vikedor here in the blue playing as the Britons. Teamed up with Miguel in the red playing as the Franks. Uh, I think the average 1v1 ELO for these two players is something like 1220, 1230, somewhere in that range. And they are matched up against Ryodan A. We've got two Ryodan teams in Division F. Ryodan, and Ryodan A here with Nuli in the purple playing as the Khmer. Teamed up with Mario here in the yellow playing as the Chinese. And I think the average ELO for this team is maybe like 1130, 1140. So about 100... Uh, points of ELO difference between the two teams. Uh, so Mascarela, probably the slight favorite in this set. All right, Khmer Chinese, Britain's Franks. I mean, can't complain about Britain's Franks. That's about as good as they come. Uh, Khmer Chinese, Khmer, they've got some nice advantages early on. Ability to get scouts out really early, get them out in some good numbers, not having to build that barracks. Um, but when you get into Imperial Age on a map like this, I, I definitely prefer the Franks. Having access to Paladin in 2v2 is is pretty important when you get towards that late game. Um, so imagine that Ryodan here will be looking to try to close out the game earlier at least to get a big lead during that time everyone's build looking pretty clean so far uh let's take a look at the maps here real quick so miguel our frank's player pretty decent gold there forward berries they are under a hill but are, he's already working on walling those out that's uh i think a really really nice spot for those houses wood lines aren't great but not terrible he's got two back wood to work with and it's even you know, moderately wallable. Uh, his teammate over here, Bike Tour, playing as the Britons. Let's take a look at his map. Good gold, four berries. Map's kind of similar to his teammates. Uh, I think harder to wall, though. Definitely harder to wall. You're probably looking at small walls here. Uh, yeah, you're probably not even thinking about trying to wall all the way out there. Over here for purple, Newly's map. Forward gold, back berries. A decent map if you're the, the scouts player. That those berries are more important than the gold in the early going part. Uh, has two decent wood lines to work with. That one's pretty far forward. But yeah, a lot of terrain on this map. A lot of a lot of small hills here for sure. And then finally looking at Mario's map. Back berries. Gold's a bit forward. There are some hills here, but it's at least reasonably close to the TC. No, no. Not really any backwood to speak of. All the wood's kind of forward. So that's not ideal. But no one's got a really terrible map. No one's got a real great map on this one. All right, let's keep an eye on the uptime. See what the scouting situation's looking like. It looks like newly lamed a couple of bike tours sheep there. So that will be good for newly. Although newly's not sending them back, and bike tour is going to find them, and they will they will come home. Or at least he's going to find one of them. All right, over here, we've got a little bit of a scout engagement. Mario getting some damage on Miguel. Miguel getting the high ground, though. Getting the HP advantage. Does have a vill here, though, Mario. And yeah, nicely done. Sending that vill was a good move. Although, it did cost him some idle time there under the town center. Yeah, nice use of the scout there by Newly. All right, bike door's coming forward. So. He can avoid the TC there. Does he see anything yet? Not quite. Not quite in range of that house. And what's the scouting situation looking like for our other players? Okay, we've already got a bunch of people. Look at this. 18 pop here for Newly. Uh, that's impressive. Bike door scout nearly missing the TC. And yeah, I love good scouting intel. Locating the berries here. But that is going to be an early uptime there. That's really nicely done by the Khmer player, and he is up. So the scout gains some speed. 
And let's see where that stable goes down right there. Yeah, so this is looking like nice early scout pressure. We've got 21 pop from both the players on Moscarela. And no men at arms in the field, right? No. Frank's player working on some early walls. Nice build. They're able to get the stable down right away. Yeah, newly looking to try to snipe a vill, but those vills are traveling in pairs. First range coming down here for bike tour. And yeah, we should see some scouts here pretty soon. First one has almost popped. And yeah, that will be some early pressure facing bike door here. Yay. Getting the resource walls on the gold. That's a good call. Great Already good. five on gold. Uh, not many on wood though. Only. I yeah, I guess okay. Just working on the wood wood line. Here comes that second scout. Already a spear out. That spear, I think, will probably head over to the wood line. Oh, two spears. All right, so yeah. Bike door should be all right for a while. Resource walls coming down here for Miguel as well. And yeah, he already has a second scout on the field. Uh, what about archer production here for Mario? Nothing as of yet. So that could be one worry that they fall behind in archer production. We already have an archer out and a second range on the way before the range has even started construction here for Mario. And how are the scout look numbers looking for Newly? It's got three up here, one down here. Yeah, apologies, I'm a bit under the weather today, so my voice is uh yeah, probably even more mumbly than usual. Bike door nearly escaping with the vill there. Nicely done by him. And all right, scouts are out now here for Miguel. He loses one to a spear. There's that first range down here for Mario. Mario working on getting walled. But yeah, that will take a while. It's a pretty open map. Good pressure here by Newly. Yeah, but not really much damage to be had. Get the resource walls here on the gold, two spears on the wood. I really like what Bike Door is doing here. This is nicely done. Yeah, instead of investing in full walls, just invest in two spears and a couple palisades. Alright. Now the question is, when we see the archers start moving out, that's when the action is going to happen. And almost certainly we're going to see archers moving out here for Bike Door before we see them moving out from Mario. Mario... Uh, two archers in that range, but looks like he's planning on sticking with one range for now. Alright, newly scouts still looking for damage here, but yeah, just there's just nothing to be had. I think maybe at this point it might be best for them to head over to Miguel. Get in there while, before those walls are up. Some spear protection here though, I mean there's not going to be damage to be had there either. So at this point, it's a matter of waiting for archers. And, oh, actually, we got skirms in the mix here for Newly. So goes one range skirms. So playing this sort of 1v1 style, getting the blacksmith down as well. Um, yeah, so skirms will definitely provide him some defense from the archers. The problem is those archers together with those scouts will win out against this composition any day, at least, barring some really world-class micro here by Newly. All right, Newly going for the, the sneak around. He's gonna harass the gold here with these skirms. And fortunate for him, the scouts are not going to be in the vicinity. Although, he's gonna possibly have his own problems at home as those scouts get into a base that has no protection. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if these skirms can micro down the spears. If they do, there could definitely be some damage to be had for Newly, but Newly is in trouble here. Five scouts in on the wood line. He's gonna make a run for the houses, but the scouts are not letting him get in there. Loses one villager. A lot of idle time. Does push a uh, bike door off of gold. Yeah, there goes a second fill. 
not looking good here at the moment. All right, we do have archers out here for Mario, though. Fletching is in as well. And newly scouts are going to come back. Not going to be able quite to clean that, I don't think, but... Might be able to at least take the pressure off. And, yeah, uh, Miguel might be quite distracted. Might not notice this because he's busy dealing with the scouts. Okay, the scouts are... Yeah, everyone's just hanging out next to each other. Must be some stand ground going on there. Uh, as Miguel micros back at home to get the... Ooh, look at this. Newly pushing Bikedor off of the wood line. Bikedor trying to get back, Yay. but three skirms have managed to idle almost his entire economy. So, I guess those skirms did get pretty decent value. Alright, good harassment here by Newly, or pardon me, by Mario. He's pushed Miguel off of uh, that wood line, but Miguel is almost up. There will be knights on the field. Newly, however, will be the first player to Castle Age, adding a second stable. And man, yeah, still keeping these skirms alive. Okay, they're about to go down. We've got a good mass of archers here. But uh, Bike Tour is going to have to be careful with those archers as knights are about to be on the field here. All right, Miguel linking up with the archers. So, yeah, this is what uh, I was looking to see was when we'd get uh, one of the cow players would get together with the archer units. That's when that's when these armies become really dangerous in feudal age. And the two archer players will have a roughly comparable castle time. But let's see what Newly can do with this earlier castle time. There's the first two knights. They're out on the field. Uh, what does he have for armor? Actually, no armor right now. Whereas Miguel is already researching the plus two. And this is pretty nice clean here for Miguel. Sorry, was I looking at Miguel's scouts before? Yeah, that's my bad. We So we still haven't had archers and scouts link up yet in this game. That's a good clean for Miguel. And yeah, Mario's archers are bye bye All right, newly though. Yeah, I'd like to see him dive in here. He's got a, a huge tech advantage. Uh, a great opportunity to get damage. And right now, Bike Door is having an opportunity to get walled here. I think better for Newly to dive in here than, than to wait for his upgrades. Alright, he's going to make a run for it here, but this should be walled in time by Bike Door. He will lose this one vill. She'll be sacrificed for the cause. Alright, what do we have? Oh, we had a hole in the wall here. Knights, scouts are in on Mario's woodline. And Mario does have a lot of spears here. So we will clean this. This is a couple of vills, though, and the vill numbers are identical. The military numbers are identical. We have ourselves a pretty good ball game here. All right, still at this. Oh, no. Wide open there, although it does get the spears in position. That's a lot of spears to work with. Definitely worth getting the pikeman upgrade when you have that number of spears. What does plug mean? that hole. But yeah, so far this game has basically looked like two different 1v1s. Uh, we've got a uh, Britain's Khmer matchup on the left and a Frank's Chinese matchup on the right. And man, look at the number of spears here going forward. But we've got forward siege here for Newly, and if this stays a 1v1, That'll be a great call. Uh, should definitely be able to push through on these ranges. That gold's going to be in trouble. And, uh, yeah, I think Bike Door is going to need these knights to get over there. All right, these knights have plus two armor, though. So, uh, those archers should get cleaned here. Although, only three knights left at this point. So, nice micro there by new, uh, Mario. And continue to buy himself time. Still has a hole in the wall here, though. Two pikemen out. He should be okay. All right. Even getting a mining camp for some stone there. All right. Newly is going to keep uh, 
Ooh, okay. So this is interesting. Expo have gone forward here for Bike Door. So Mario is going to be in possibly big trouble here, but the question is how Bike Door reacts to this. I think definitely the right call for him to do what he's doing, which is to continue going forward. Uh, even gets a Monk out, so going for some Monk defense. Managed to get one conversion there. Monk will go down, and he's going to take a lot of damage to his wood line. But, um, yeah, Bike Door should be able to inflict pretty serious damage here on Mario as well. Yeah, this is not looking good. The Knights here are going to go for a counterattack on Newly's base. And Bike Door is losing a lot here, down to 36 villagers. But uh, a nice boom going here for Miguel. So despite those losses, Mascarela still five villagers ahead. But possibly not for long, continuing to lose vills. The mango is out. Reinforcements coming in, but some damage being done here. Oh, lots of open wood lines for Miguel. Newly playing this open. Uh, Khmer style using those houses. But yeah, now his uh, eco is just completely idled off of that wood line, off of this wood line. So that is really going to affect the boom he has going. But the harassment continues, and that wood line is open here. Bike door going to lose more vills there. Archers are in here on Mario. There's just too much to track right now. Action all over the place. Very, very aggressive castle age so far. All right. Still the oh no, this is going to be a doubt town center for Mario. Yeah, definitely the right call, I think, for Bike Door to, to keep those units there. Alright, knights coming in, they will clean this mango. Yeah, that Magnells are very, very situational in team games precisely for this reason. Uh, there's just always going to be Cav on the field, and it can be quite hard to keep them alive. But certain are certainly are situations where they are useful. And here, I think there's a decent decent call by New League to go for them, especially since this game had been developing along the lines of two different 1v1s. All right, nice Archer Micro here by both players. And that TC is still not going to go up here for Mario. And they are starting to fall a bit behind here now. Ryodan is down 15 vills, down about 15 military units as well. And the boom continues here for Miguel. His eco is looking delicious. Three TCs, lots of farms. I mean, um, yeah, compare it with Newly's eco here. Right, Newly's taking a lot of raids from Red. A raid in Feudal Age, raid in Castle Age. And yeah, this push is kind of stalling out for Newly now as well. Even Vill numbers for Mario and Bike Door. So both the Archer players have suffered a lot of damage here. And Mario desperate to clean this out of his base. No ballistics here for Mario, as you can see there. Ballistics for Bike Door. And that's getting him a lot of value. You can see why... Um, High-level players in team games so often prioritize Ballistics, one of the first upgrades they will get in Castle Age. And this is precisely why. Ooh, a castle coming down here for Miguel. And yeah, if that castle goes up, uh, I think it'll put Moscarela even more firmly in the driver's seat than they are already. All right, the archers are finally clean. But uh, the raids continue. Excellent pressure here by Moscarela. We've got knights coming in, diving on Newly's base. Yeah, Newly's just having a hard time getting the eco settled with the raids he's been dealing with. Decent archer numbers here for Bike Door. He's got to be careful that a mango doesn't pop. There's not one in the queue, so he should be all right for now. Miguel bringing all his knights over here to make sure that castle goes up, and it should go up. It's hard to see any way in which Mario could end up denying that. Mario does have some units going out, so sending some pikes out, sending some archers out. Oh no, another hole in the wood line. Holes galore here from Mario. That's a tough one. That's a really hard one to see. But he's got the overchop. Knights are in. And uh, eco situation. 
coming even worse here for Mario, down to 32 villagers. Yeah, Mascarela very, very firmly in control of this game. Mario. And yeah, we could see the GG here. Mario down to 23 vils. Uh, Mikel in on that wood line on the gold. I mean, he's just absolutely everywhere. Mario is. Well, there's no other way to put it. He's dead. And. That castle goes up. His gold has been taken. And yeah, this one is over. Yeah, Vil count. Twice the Vils here for Mascarela, twice the military. Help arrives here from Newly, but uh, it's a little too little, a little too late. Eleven, eleven Vils left standing here for Mario. Imperial Age on the way for Miguel, who's at 104 villagers. His eco is rock solid. Ooh, we even got some elephants out here for Newly. Wants to use them against the archer player. Uh, but the pressure continues here for Miguel. Looking to, uh, looking to defeat Mario if Ryodan does not tap out here. Imperial Age on the way as well for our Britons player with 49 vils. Gonna go for that fast imp play, get to Arbalist. Although he's about to run into a, a decent little military here with plus two armor. That army should be able to deal with those expo. And that's a lot of knights there for Miguel. That there's absolutely no way here for Mario to deal with. Alright, let's see the engagement here. Alright, Bikedor looking for his second Doubt Castle of the game. Notices the elephants, and yeah, he's just going to try to micro them to death. But there are some knights that could get us around here. The knights streaming in over here on Mario. All right, Biker's going to take cover here in this little uh, tree harbor. So yeah, he's going to get the best value he can. Unfortunate for him to lose those before he has the Arbalist upgrade. Look at the pathing though, these ele elephants can't touch the archers. So there are just units going down all over the place here for Newly. He's only got two units that are actually attacking there. And that is the get out of my game castle for Miguel. Um, that will certainly go up. All right, Imperial Age in for Miguel. And there is the GG. Yeah, a pretty even game up until early Castle Age. Um, but uh, yeah, three different holes in the wall certainly did not help matters for Mario. That first time, I think that damage was... Um, yeah, put, put Mario in a position where he just... Never really was able to get units out onto the field. Kind of playing catch up uh, from that point on. Yeah, nice looking KD there for Miguel. Uh, by far the best eco in the game as well. Pretty dominant performance by him. And a nice hold by Bike Door, despite heavy pressure from Newly in early Castle Age. All right. And let me just take a peek here to confirm which map is the home map for Ryodan A. All right, looks like their home map is Gold Pit. So Gold Pit we go. Uh, we 
we've got one win here for Mascarella, a 1-0 lead. This is a best of three. So they take this one, they take the set. If uh, Ryodan pulls this one out, we'll go to a game three on Mascarella's home map. All right, what are we looking at for Sibs? We got the poles here in the purple for Newly. And Mario, who was playing as Chinese last game, will be playing as the Mayans here. And they're matched up against Bike Door playing as the Byzantines and Miguel playing as the Sicilians. So pulls here. Um, yeah, we'll certainly be looking to get that unique Castle Age tech to produce those really cheap knights. Um, and, you know, Gold Pit's a map where you often tend to prioritize a castle uh, ahead of what you would on Arabia. So I think pulls probably makes more sense on Gold Pit than it does on a standard Arabia. And yeah, I'll be excited to see if you can get to that tech. Uh, pulls can be absolutely deadly. And the thing is, it does buy you some time to get control of the middle because... Right, you've only got six tiles of gold here to work with at your home base, but if you can hold off on producing big knight numbers until after you've got that unique tech, that gold can go a pretty long way. Um, and you don't need to worry about getting to the middle too early. Trouble though is always getting to the place where you can devote enough of your eco to stone to get that castle up in the first place. All right, taking a look at the maps here. I mean, pretty standard gold pit generation. You've got a lot of wood lanes to work with, but they do to be, tend to be pretty far away from the TC. I think that is one common misconception I often uh, I often see with gold pit is a lot of people tend to think it's a map that in 2v2 is going to be pretty easy to fast castle. And I just don't think that's true. It's not like you can wall this whole area. I mean, you could go... I mean, this, this map really is pretty decent for a fast castle, right? You could go over here to the TC, come across that wood line wall down there. But it, it's just so hard to pull off a fast castle in a 2v2 setting. At least given the current state of uh, walls. Because if your opponent get archers and scouts out to you pretty quickly, and if they see your uptime being delayed, they're going to know immediately what's up. So they're gonna they're gonna go right away, and it's just so hard to, to get to pull off a fast castle without taking damage. Um, so, all right, looking at here at Newly's map, yeah, this one's this one's pretty wallable as well. Um, I mean, this side's a little trickier, but you do have this safe gold, so you could you know just kind of wall around. Do the the circle over here for yellow. Ooh, this is a little tricky. I don't like I don't like that. Both golds forward there like that. That is quite tough. It's, yeah, back berries though. This is beautiful here for Miguel. Two really really safe golds there. Um, this one you could get a pretty easy wall as well. Just wall to the TC here. Wall to the TC here. And then you've got these three wood lines to work with and both your golds. So all these maps are relatively wallable. Mario's, I think, is the worst. It's the worst map of the bunch, in my opinion. All right, let's keep an eye on those uptimes. Uh, Miguel, he's got the deer right next to the mill, so he is going to take advantage of that fact. Uh, not so for Mario. Who's not hasn't pushed any deer and looks like we've got a couple deer pushed here for newly and yeah no deer pushed here for bike tour lost a lot of hp there on that scout i missed that wasn't sure what the engagement was i don't think we had a boar lame yeah it doesn't look like it all right castle age on the way here for newly playing as the pulls going with 21 pop scouts has that full work down. Those can be quite nice in Feudal Age. Getting that food coming in faster can improve that castle time. Alright, gonna go four and four on the wood lines. 
I don't know, adding a few more. Right, let's see the scouting intel here. Just about to discover Bike Tour's base he is. What about Bike Tour? What's his scouting intel? Excellent scouting intel. Sees the berries, both wood lines, uh, and the gold that he'll most likely take. So really nice scouting there. And we can see good scouting here from Miguel as well. Mario recognizing how vulnerable this gold is, is going to prioritize walling that. And look at this. We've got a uh, man at arms here from Mario. Going to, yeah. Twenty-three pop men at arms. Yeah, Miguel starting with the walls. Yeah, I don't even I don't even think he needed to go that ambitious with the walls. I think really could have just gone around here. With still have plenty of safe wood. Alright, newly is up. Miguel is up. Stable coming down here for Miguel. Stable coming down here for newly. Very comparable times. So here comes men at arms. He'll be in on the cow player. He certainly won't be able to get this walled out in time. This will be pretty vulnerable. This will be pretty vulnerable as well. So yeah, these 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 guys could definitely get some value. 20 seconds until Men at Arms is in. And yeah, those walls will just be a little too late here to keep the Men at Arms out. Well, they are waiting, and they're actually going around to the walled side here. Very unfortunate for Mario. Yeah, not sure where he's going. All right, newly trying to get a vill pick there for Bike Door. Doesn't get it, but does get a decent bit of idle time there on the wood line. Where are these men at arms off to? Yeah, they're going to the walled side. This is so unfortunate for Mario. Yeah, 50 wood left in that tree. Yeah, maybe he's just gonna wait it out for that. Try to keep these guys hidden. Or he's going to attack a house here. But yeah, look at this. Miguel's now fully walled. So the ambitious walls worked out. Wasn't punished for those. Salve. And Newly has a second scatter. Getting some pressure on the berries. Does push Bike Tour off the berries. Not as... Uh, not as big of a deal for the Archer player as it is for the Cav player. And yeah, Miguel going to be content to repair the house. So those better arms probably not going to get the value to justify making them. Yeah, great pressure here by Newly. He looks like he's going to get at least one vill. Going to get a couple vills here. So this is great pressure by Newly. Two vills down. Has had a lot of idle time. Bike Door has produced two, uh, two spears and lost his starting scout. All right, but here come the scouts for Miguel. He's looking to get similar damage here on Mario, who is not walled up yet. Does have two spears over here, but he is going to lose at least one villager here. All right, spears come in. All right. Good scout numbers here for newly six scouts versus four for Miguel. Archer numbers not looking great for either of the other players. We've got five here for Mario and three for Bike Tour. So Bike Tour is definitely uh, his eco has been pretty hammered here. All right, so Miguel is just waiting to make a jump on these men at arms, and I think he's gonna dive here. Yep is gonna lose one scout second scout uh no fletching yet for these so those archers won't be able to do too much against these scouts yeah those archers should get clean i think mario probably should have waited to send those until he had fletching unless uh he had those spears with them but yeah wisely sending these ones back but now here come the scouts so yeah, this is what we were talking about in game one, getting the archers and scouts together. I think that's what Newly is trying to do here. Yep, here comes a spear, so Mario will be just fine now. And I think I think Miguel might be distracted back at his base. Those spears clean everything. 
Great value. So now, now Miguel could be in a lot of trouble. We've got scouts here for Newly. Archers coming forward for Mario. And especially if those archers get fletching, Miguel is not going to be able to keep this army out. He's going to need army here from his friend. Uh, Bike Tour does have 10 archers here. But uh, yeah, he's trying to dig out of his own economical at the moment. Nice attention there by Newly noticing the spear. And here come the archers. So those spears are going to be nullified. Uh, fletching on the way here from Mario. Yeah, I think they should just take down this gate and go right in here. All right, spear goes down. Yeah, here again, they are, they're separating the units. I, I think better off just keep the units together. Uh, Miguel won't be able to get these walls up behind if the archers are with the scouts. But yep, they're linking up, so this is great. And Mario's eco is looking quite healthy. Castle Age on the way here for Miguel. He's going to have a really fast uptime. But I don't know if he's going to make it. There's going to be a lot of pressure in his face. And he's going to have a hard time producing knights with this kind of pressure. All right. That'll be a vill down here for Miguel. Uh, these are nice, ha nice walls, though. They will hold for a bit. Yeah, because Mario has to walk under that TC fire. But he's going to dive anyway. All right, there's no fletching on that TC. So he takes some losses, but nothing catastrophic. They know they could end the game here. So Miguel now off of gold. He's going to try to get that second stable, but these wood lines are huge trouble. Where does he go? His eco is... Yeah, he's in big, big trouble here. All right, yeah, if they push in here, if they push in here, I think Radan wins this game, without a doubt. And they are. Yep, I mean, here comes Mario. Yeah, Miguel is in big, big trouble. He's going to lose a lot of ills here. One vill down. Second vill down. And this wood line is still vulnerable here. Yeah, hopefully Newly can bring his scouts in there. Miguel's going to make a run for it. Yeah, wisely deletes to try to get out that way. But this is a disaster right now. He's in Castle Age. He's got two knights out. But the damage has already been done. Down to 30 more vills here. Yeah, it does have one armor, one attack upgrade on those knights. But if Newly can keep the scouts in front of the archers as a meat shield... Oh no, he's unfortunately attacking a lumber camp here. They actually could have probably taken those knights out if he was able to stay in front of them. Alright, so the army will be cleared here for Miguel, but the damage has been done. Oop, I missed a counterattack here by Bike Door. Doesn't look like he got any value out of it. And he's now going to come back here to try to defend... His friend. So Mario, yeah, I think should probably run back home with these archers. He can't be out here right now with feudal archers and knights on the field. Better to just pull those back and try to mass the numbers for Castle Age. Also probably worth finishing that wall there. Right, you've invested in all that walling. Ooh. Bikedor coming in here. Bikedor's going to have Expo. Oh my, Mario's in trouble now. He's in big trouble here. Big trouble here. Um, all right. Newly is in Castle Age. Maybe Newly. I mean, he's going to have to mass some numbers here, though, to be able to deal with this. Expo is in. Ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe we'd see a panic tower here. No tower coming up yet. Heavy on stone. So Mario clearly wants to get to plumed archers. But uh, yeah, that is not going to be happening for a while. Not with this kind of damage. Um, Mario very happy that there's no ballistics like Bike Door had in game one when he came into the base. So far, yeah, Mario's pretty idled, but he has avoided losing a lot of villagers. But knights are in now. Yeah, flashbacks for Mario to game one. 
of red knights and blue archers in his base and he's gonna need newly here and fast newly here he comes to the rescue nice quick walls there by mario very nicely done all right what do we have for armor only plus one on these knights so they can't really engage with the crossbow yet we'll be able to clean those knights however Ooh, uh, bike door uh, lets Mario know there's a hole in the wall, and yeah, he's actually going to leave. So, uh, castle coming down here for Mario. All right, so he survives. That looked like it was going to be a lot worse than it was. Still have a Tenville lead here for Ryodan A. Drop in the castle. I think on Gold Pit, I, I sort of would prefer to see the castle a little bit further forward to, to not just protect your access to gold, but also to cut off your opponent's access to gold, force them to get around the castle. So I think maybe a castle here, right? It'll still give you clean access to this gold, but it will also prevent your enemy from ever taking that gold. All right, Archer's coming in here now. Uh, Newly is going to definitely use some villagers. Newly trying to hand that stone he wants to get to the upgrade for the cheap knights. Yeah, so he's going to have to get over to this gold, which he already has dropped a town center on, so that's nice. Plus two armor on the way for him, and once that's in, he'll be able to clean this up, no problem. He certainly has the knight numbers for it. Uh, yeah, let's hope he holds off on the engagement here until he has that plus two, though. No sense wasting knights. Well, he'll, he'll clean it anyway, but yeah, might have I would have been worth waiting just a few seconds longer. And this is great. They've got the two armies together here for Ryodan A. They're down in score, but I think that's a little misleading. Uh, I mean, look, they're tenvils ahead. They're ahead with military. They've got a presence in the middle already. A castle down for Mario to go plumes, and a castle in the distant future here for Newly as well. So I think Ryodan in a decent position here, although this game is by no means over. Mascarela could certainly pull this one out there, not that far behind. Yep, so they're getting a TC of their own. Or, whose TC is that? Yeah, okay. Mike Door's TC. Yeah, that's what I mean. If you have the castle here. Right, that TC can never go there. The only place you can get a TC, you're going to have to stick it either way back here or way back here. So you really limit the the real estate for your opponent. All right, we've got pressure here for Newly, and he gets a jump on the villagers that were going out to drop that town center. And this is really nicely done here by Riot and A. Great pressure. Great numbers. And yeah, uh, game one, Mascarela, they had their armies together, and Mario suffered a lot of damage for it. Now it is Ryodan A with their armies together, although it looks like Newly's going to head back to try to clean all of this out of Mario's base. Yeah, Miguel has been a thorn in Mario's side for this entire set. And yeah, Mario's losing a lot here on this wood line. He needs that wood. That wood's very important for him as he tries to transition into plumed archers. And once again, we've got forward siege for Newly. Newly will be back here to clean up, but a lot of damage has already been done. Down to 44 villagers here for Mario. So his ego is in the same spot that Newly's is. And look at this, Newly going to imp with 42 vils. So, uh, or Biker, sorry. Yeah, Biker has to keep these numbers alive. Remember game one, losing the expo to the elephants just before Imperial Age. Um, yeah, so this is a gamble, but it's a gamble that can pay off if he can keep the numbers up. And get the Arbalist out and use that tech advantage to clean up the army for right in here. Another castle for Newly. So yeah, he's going to be able to get that cheap knight upgrade. Not that he's going to need the gold savings, because he does have access to gold. Ballistics on the way here for Mario. And yeah, the pressure is on. Can Vitor hold against 
this push. That is a lot of knights. Yeah, he's going to have to hold here until Imperial Age plus another minute and change so he can get the Arbalist upgrade. Defensive castle coming down here for Miguel. And, ooh, look at this. This is the ballsiest town center I've ever seen. All right, it's spotted by the lone archer. He says, hey, guys, come back. Let's kill some vills. And, yeah, that, that TC will not go up. Uh, this is Mario's revenge for the doubt TC that Bike Door laid on him in game one. Mario's going to lay one on Bike Door here in game two. And look at the army size here for Riot and A. 28 knights, 23 archers. Bike Door is in big, big trouble. And there it is. And yeah, look at that castle. All right. I was begging for it earlier. There it is. That castle will cut off just about all the gold access for Mascarella, but it might be a doubt castle here. Let's see if you can get some quick walls up. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, the pressure's in. The bills are dropping. The expo are gone, and the timing could not be better here for Ryodan A. There will not be any Arbalist on the field. And uh, Bike Door is in full Nomad mode at this point. The Vills are on the run. This game looks pretty over. This looks like uh, an awesome victory here for Ryodan A. Ooh, we do have a Doubt Castle here on top of a Doubt TC. This Doubt thing's all around, but yeah. I mean, Miguel might get a castle, but his teammate is gone at this point. Still 36 Vills, but a lot of those are hiding in this TC. The rest are on the run. Gonna go down and finish that town center. But Bike Tour is out of this game for all intents and purposes. And now, Newly and Mario can turn their attention entirely to the middle. They can clean this army of Miguel's, and we might just have a second doubt castle here for Bike Tour. Even if it goes up, though, it's probably not long for this world. 80 bills for Newly, so he's got a nice boom going behind this. Imp on the way here for Miguel. So Miguel must be thinking that he needs to get to Imp so he can get Trebs out. I'm just not sure how he protects those Trebs. Alright. So, yeah, a lot of Knights were still here for Newly. So Newly ended up taking this fight with fewer numbers. Lost the fight, so that was a nice win for Miguel. Here's another castle for Newly. Yeah, and that's another one. I know I'm be beating a dead horse here, but... Um, yeah, put it a little further forward. I mean, if if Miguel comes forward and tries to deny it, all the better for you, because he's fighting underneath the castle. Um, but, I mean, on Gold Pit, I think you really want to try to minimize the real estate your, your enemies can work with. And then there's just really one spot you got to push him off of. All right, Miguel attempting to get his second castle down here. And the destruction continues here in Bike Tour's base. He's got a few more villas that are going to make a run for it. But I guess who has ballistics this time? It is Mario. Those will all go down. And the lone survivors are the ones hanging out in here. 17 villas for Bike Tour. And look at this. Twice the... Uh, Vill count, twice the military count, and this is just basically a reversal of game one. Nice numbers here for Miguel, though. Definitely credit to him for keeping those numbers up. And yeah, if you're newly, this is a great fight for you. Your knights are a lot cheaper. Even if you're making an even trade in terms of numbers, you're making a better trade in terms of resources. Imperial Age is in here for Miguel, so he can produce Trebs. Well, at least theoretically. He doesn't have the wood for it, though. He's got six on wood. And I think, at this point, it's just a matter of time. Riodan here would have to make, I think, a pretty significant mistake to lose this one. Um, yeah, still not able to produce Trebs. Going to go for that Cavalier upgrade. Nice micro here by Mario. Let's see. Yeah. Let's get back under the protection of that castle, and he will do so. And now that Mario is linked up with Newly, this army is much, much, much more lethal. 
third castle coming down here for Newly, so maybe he wants to go uh, full Obuk, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he wants to go Obuk here. Doesn't have to worry about archers at this point, although still production here for Bikor. I didn't notice if he was getting slung at this point. I don't know how he's producing archers. I mean, he doesn't have... I guess he's got eight on wood here. Oh, we got an engagement in the middle. This is probably the GG fight. Yeah, I mean, look how lethal the archers are when they have the knights as meat shield. Miguel was hopeful with the cavalier upgrade that maybe, just maybe, he could win that fight. Doesn't work out. Loses the trap. Loses all of his cavalier. Uh, Mario is losing a lot of archers here under the castle. But, uh, yeah, these old books are going to clean things up here pretty quickly. I think this castle will go up for bike tour. Will it? Will it? It's going to be close. I think he'll get it. Ooh. He gets it. Barely. Doesn't get much closer than that, but... Bike Tour Miguel realized this is the end. Eight villagers left at the end for Bike Tour. And yeah, I think just as decisive a victory in game two for Ryodan as it was in game one for Mascarela. Uh probably honestly just came down to the the damage that um whoop. Back to the map here. Yeah. So Newly, remember, was able to get that great damage really early on Bike Tour. That really sent him back. And so Newly uh, had scout numbers on Miguel. And of course, there were archers out as well. So even though the men at arms didn't work out for Mario, right, those didn't get much value at all. Uh, the damage that Bike Tour took uh, st still meant that Mario was ahead in archer numbers. And then once they got in on Miguel, just before he got to Castle Age, um, yeah, that was, that just was damage that Mascarella was never able to recover from. So, whoop, one to one, and we go to a decider game here. Let's look at the stats real quick before we move on. Miguel with another really nice KD there. So it was efficient with those units. Yeah, this time newly quite far ahead in eco. So both games, the cow player that didn't get hit in feudal age was the player that had the beautiful boom. No surprise there. All right. Decider game. Let's go. We've got nomad. And we're off. All right. What do we have for Sibs here? So Miguel, where is he going to drop that TC? That's a pretty beautiful spot. I hope that's where he's thinking of dropping it because he's got berries, gold, two wood lines, and stone. No, you're leaving the Garden of Eden. What are you doing? All right. This spot's not too shabby either. Gold, stone, two wood lines as well. So Miguel's going to drop his TC there. He's playing as the Malians. Teamed up here with Bike Tour in the blue playing as the Persians. So Persians, Malians, uh, yeah, obviously two S tier sieves, two sieves that are able to get fishing ships out immediately upon dropping a dock. And uh, yeah, so that can let you get a nice eco advantage. Mario, he'll be dropping his TC here playing as the Vietnamese and newly as the Lithuanians. So they're all uh, TCing up here in the north. Yeah, so Malians and Persians both often like to try to get into a boom situation. Um, and because they're getting the early fish, a lot of times what will happen is the Malians player and the Persians player will have fish numbers on their opponents at the time they click up. And because they have made that kind of investment, they want to protect that investment. So they'll, they'll play heavy on water. 
um, which will obviously put them in a position to make a great boom, but sometimes when they play on water like that, they uh, their castle time's a bit later. And so if you have a sieve like the Vietnamese who knows where your town centers are, has access to gold, right? Sometimes what they like to do is they'll just go straight fast castle and then put a castle right on your face. And so uh, you just never have that opportunity to boom. I could definitely see that happening here. Mario is very, very close to Bike Tour. Uh, yeah, could potentially... Well, I mean, yeah, let's see. Bike Tour could wall that off, wall this off here. And a pretty easy wall off there, honestly, could protect himself fully. But that would depend on him knowing that Mario is there. Alternatively, Mario could also just castle Miguel here. And, uh... Down here, we've got Newly in a position to kind of prevent these guys from escaping to the south. So this is a great TC location. Goldstone, very close. Um, so position-wise, I kind of like Ryodan's position. I mean, Vietnamese, Lith, those are great sieves. Lith can get to Feudal Age quite quickly. So uh, you often see the Lith player playing on water just because they can have such a fast Feudal time get those fires out early but yeah we'll see obviously persians and malians are terrific on nomad all right mario here this is pretty long distance wood collection and yeah i think just yeah so this is usually why you'll see that first tc come up on a wood line it's just because you can't afford to invest in a lumber camp right away because you want to invest in the fishing ships. But by not not putting a TC on the wood line or investing in a lumber camp, you end up with this really long distance wood collection, which uh, I think in the long run costs you a lot more than what you gain by, by having the TC out there. Really nice boar lure there by Bike Tour. All right, take a look at the fish count here for our players. So Miguel, our Malians player, two fish out. One here for Mario, the Vietnamese player. Three for the Persians player already. And three as well here for Newly. Yeah, so Lith, Malians, Persians, three sieves that can go pretty hog wild on... Uh, fishing ships in the start of Dark Age here. Lithuanians with the extra food means you can go heavier to wood in the beginning. So even though you can't get the fishing ships out immediately in the way the Persians and Marlians can, you can catch up with that fishing count pretty quickly. All right, newly unfortunately housed there briefly. That happens a lot on Nomad. It's a uh, yeah, quite a challenge to get through a Dark Age build on Nomad without getting housed, if you're me. Good, healthy fishing ship production here for Newly, sitting on five. Five as well here for Bike Door. Two for, or three here for a Vietnamese player, and four for our Malians player. And yeah, I'm very curious to see the uptimes here be indicative of what the strategy is. Okay, Bike Door. Going for small house walls here. So it makes sense. You want to minimize idle time at the Vils. So instead of walking way out to build houses, you put them up close like that. Um, but bike door, yeah. Let's take a look at the, the map intel looks like. Yeah. I mean, bike door doesn't know the enemies here. So yeah, these houses won't protect you from a castle drop. But those houses make sense if you're... You have the scouting intel that Bike Door has here. Looks like he didn't have access to any sheep at all, so that's really unfortunate. That's kind of just a map gen thing. All uh, right, looking at Miguel. What does Miguel see? Yeah, similar thing. Not a lot of scouting. Looks like no sheep either here for, here for Miguel either, unless they were just eating those. I wasn't paying close enough attention. And there it is. Uh, Persians player will be the first to 
uh, Feudal Age, going up with 21 villagers and five fishing ships. So there's no vill down here at the dock, so it doesn't look like Bikedor's planning on playing water here. Usually the player that's going to uh, build fires or galleys is dropping a second dock in the area of the first dock so that you can mass those units up together. We don't see that here. All right, we do have a second dock here from Newly, so it looks like the Lithuanian's player wants to go water. And yeah, Newly is up here with 23 vills. And yeah, he'll have a similar uh, feudal time as Mario and as Miguel, but our Persians player will be up first. Okay, Miguel has added a second dock, actually on the opposite side, on the amazing side, uh, when it comes to fish collection. Look at that. That is, that is a fisherman's paradise right there. Yeah, and he's also on this corner. So excellent dock placement for Miguel. The question is, can he keep it alive? Because it certainly appears to me like Newly is planning on and testing on water here. All right, so what's the play here for Bike Door? He's going straight to Castle Age, it appears. He's going to get a stable down and presumably a blacksmith as his second uh, Feudal Age building. Yeah, he's sitting on 600 food. But he's just short on wood. He needs that wood so he can get... Um... Ooh, okay. So Mario is not going to play... Castle drop. Actually getting a range down, so thinking feudal. He's gonna play feudal, and I don't think that's actually Oh. We're actually getting feudal here as well from Bike Door. Never mind the fast castle. I don't know what I'm talking about. We've got scouts. And those scouts aren't gonna have to travel far to get damage on either Newly or Mario. And that will give some scouting intel here toward Bike Door. And Bike Door's also you know, do some water play here. In fact, no one's producing fires on this side. Uh, this is a straight fast castle for Newly. So what's the play here for Newly? So Newly, actually, the he's going to be the one dropping a castle. No barracks, no stable. All right, the scouts are in here on Mario. Does have a barracks, so does have the ability to produce spears. Uh, no spears queued up just yet. <laughs> okay, there is that fire for Bike Door, and it is harassing Mario's fish. Okay, we do have a barracks come down, so I think we'll probably see a stable as well, and it looks like Newly wants to go knights. So we're probably going to see knights from Newly, knights from Bike Door at some point here. Castle Age also on the way. Oh, we're going to have knights, knights all around. Yeah, so scouts getting some scouting intel, trying to get some early damage in as well here for Bike Door. We're going to have knights at, I think, pretty comparable times for Miguel and Newly. Although Newly still doesn't have a stable up. Sneaky little gold there for Bike Door. Yeah, Newly does not have a way to produce knights right now, so we're going to have knight production already here for Miguel. And, I mean, he could go up to Mario. Mario's going to be in huge trouble. Mario hasn't clicked up to Castle yet. Not even close to kicking, clicking up here. Just doesn't have the food to support it, and the food he needed is currently sinking to the bottom of the ocean. So yeah, I'm really liking Mascarela's position at the moment. There's the stable. That might be denied. Oh no. Oh no no no. Oh no no. This could be a doubt castle. Oh no no no. Yeah, the second that castle goes down, there are knights and scouts on top of it. Castle had some great potential, but um, now... 
it's just turning into a villager sacrifice. Alright. First fill goes down, and he needs to delete this quickly. And needs to delete that for sure before that goes down. Getting a monastery wants to go monk defense. Yep, does get the delete. We've got archers out on the field, but the problem is there's knights on the field. Yeah, there's just too much cap. This is going to get cleaned. Castle Age still far off for Mario. Only 400 food. And I don't know how he's going to get food at this point without... Yeah, okay, so he's going to farms, but still only five farms. So Castle Age basically out of the question for Mario, at least in the near future. Another attempt by Newly to get that castle down. Yep, going to try to get those quick walls around the castle. Thing is, this castle's not, it's not even far enough forward to range the town center. Yeah, and meanwhile, meanwhile, we've got a boom going here for Miguel. Really nice one, in fact. So he's in a great spot. I mean, has nice fish eco, although it looks like those guys are idled. I mean, this castle, ooh, there aren't that many villas. Yeah, it should go up. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. But yeah, even if you get this castle up, I don't know what... There's just not that much you can do with it. Right? It's It doesn't kill the town center. I mean, Newly is a bit pinned in here, but he can always leak out that side of the base. Speaking. Oh, no. Oh, no, please, no. Oh no. Oh my gosh, it goes up on like the last. That was like the last ladder, uh, last hammer hit. Yeah, that villager didn't even make it inside. The arrows were in the air when that castle went up. So, a moral victory here for, for Newly. Gets the castle up uh, incredibly. Does have archers here on Bike Door. So Bike Door, Bike Door is actually taking a lot of damage, down to 34 vils. But um, this boom here for Miguel. Ah, uh, this just looks. This looks like it's probably going to win the game. I mean, there's there's no eco here right now for Newly. He's got no one on farms yet. All right, still living off the fishing income, but that is going to get increasingly less efficient but man at the same time they are putting the hurt on bike door here i say that as knights also raid mario's base mario must be sick of this three games in a row where he's had to just see red knights killing his villagers and yeah villagers are going down all over the place so mario is in almost as bad of a spot here as bike door uh, in terms of vill numbers, we do have Latus on the field. So they're going to perform quite well against Knights. Although, yeah, these have just plus one attack, whereas we've got plus two armor here for Miguel. But look at this vill count. 58 vills right now for Miguel. And there's the new town center for Bike Door. Yeah, Bike Door just going straight to stone, so he wants to go into ratted out mode. Uh, so I think he's probably just going to be the castle dropper at this point. Which probably makes sense. You just continue to buy time and be a pest so your teammate can boom. And you just prevent your... Uh, you just prevent the Lithuanians player from, from booming. So yeah, I would love to see Bike Door drop a castle. You know, right, right in here somewhere. And yeah, still just one TC for, for Newly here. Mascarela 20 vil lead. Yeah, if you're Mario, I think you start going, like, you gotta know that you're, uh, that bike door leaked out at this point. I think you just go around and you gotta hunt for it. You gotta figure out where they are. Oh, and newly figured out where they are. There we go. Okay. So, say it, and it shall be done. Uh, castle coming down from Mario right on bike door's face. It's a long commute time, though. So those villas are going to have to get all the way over there. And meanwhile, 
Um, the lead is just going to continue to blossom here for Miguel. His eco is beautiful. Yeah, so Miguel's clearly shown between game one and this game that if you give him the opportunity to boom, he will do so, and he will do so well. All right, forward siege here for Newly. So, I mean, look, if you're Moscarela, you're fine with this. You're fine with this. You are just continuing to buy time for Miguel. All right, let them invest into trying to kill you. Go full ratted out mode. And it is a person town center. It's going to take them longer to kill. And manages to slip these bills out without the lightest noticing. Um, yeah, that could have been disastrous if Newly had spotted that. But... Yep, there goes Bike Door relocating once again. And meanwhile, uh, a slaughter back in Mario's base. So, yeah. I mean, honestly, given that Bike Door is not even here anymore, this castle probably would have been better to keep here. Or, yeah, yeah, you went to Fed the military to drop it on Miguel. But yeah, it might have been better as a defensive castle. Alright, we do have expo numbers now for Mario. Right, something Bike Bike Door doesn't have. And they are fighting together here, so this could be a decent engagement for Ryodan. They do have military numbers. Let's see if they can make something happen here. Although without siege, it's, yeah. It's just hard to see them really punishing Miguel here. Miguel already up to 85 vils. <laughs> All right, Miguel selling for gold. Is he thinking about getting up? Yeah, in the not too distant future. Already 39 on food. And look at this, he's continued to redock to keep the fish eco efficient. And boy, it is hard to see Ryodan dealing with the onslaught that's about to come in early Imperial Age. Miguel will have a crazy economy. He's Malian, so he also will have access to Frimba. So probably we'll think about going for Imba Cavalier here. Got some monks on the field as well. Speaking of which. Ooh. Nice pressure here by Ryodan. So Bike Door is going to probably have to evacuate yet another town center. Although this, this thing will stand for quite a while when you're Persians. Uh, but despite all this, uh, Bike Door actually has a better eco count than uh, Mario, uh, largely because of his fish. Uh, so Bike Door has also continued redocking. And look at this. Fires for Bike Door have found Newly's fish, which is still pretty important for Newly, or pardon me, for, yeah, for Newly, since he has so few on food. And now Miguel is starting to put the pressure on to Newly. Got a small raid going here. He's going to come in. He will clean up all of this. And yeah, his eco is in great shape as well. So there go the mangonels. There go the archers. Yeah, plus one, plus two on those knights. So they will definitely clean. All right, here comes the castle for Newly. Oh, man, if that was a little further forward, you could access that gold. What do we have here for Miguel? Miguel dropping a castle of his own on Mario's face. Hasn't clicked up yet. Floating a lot of wood here. Would probably be good to dump some of that into farms or sell it. I don't know what the market price is right now. Yeah, this castle will certainly go up. There's a defensive castle for Bike Door, so he will survive here. Still no 
Still no Imperial Age at this point. And Mario's Eco is still just getting obliterated here. He has relocated, so this is nice, on Wood Gold and got some farms there. But yeah, his original base is not long for this world at this point. All right, Miguel. He's got the res. Click up. Yeah. He's got a lot going on, though. He's got an army down here. Army up here. And that, yeah, that is a boom. 116 bills. There he goes. He's clicked now. All right, these knights. I mean, Newly doesn't really have anything to defend it. He could just jump with this all over the place. Uh, Miguel is also going to get a castle here. That's a great castle. Get out on this hill, secure that stone and gold. And you're really cut off Newly from moving in that direction at all. So he's now going to have a push from the west and a push from the east. <laughs> and he'll probably clean up Mario at the same time. So, I mean, at this point... Biker could probably go AFK. Probably call it a night. Go make himself some lunch. What have you. And uh, Mascarella would still probably be able to win this one. Um, I, it's just hard to see how Riodan possibly deals with Trebs and Ferimba Cavalier. That they're about to have to deal with here. Alright, Miguel throws away it. A decent number of knights there, though. But no matter. He's got plenty of stables, plenty of more knights. Where that came from. How many stables is sitting on? Four? Alright. Miguel is everywhere. So he's also on this side. Cleans up the Mangonel. Although he's going to lose a lot of knights under this uh, castle fire. Engagement here. Really not that many knight numbers on the field so far here for Miguel. Only a one military lead right now. Ooh, look at that castle. <clears throat> I commented in game two that we had the ballsiest castle. Uh, or the ballsiest TC. This is the ballsiest castle. One villager trying to get it up. Oh, get the stone wall. Go, go, go. Get it, get it, get it! Ooh, that was close. All right. Mario, oh no. That's gonna go down. All right. Wow. <laughs> that castle ain't going up, because there's a castle right here. All right, action all over the place. Oh man, where do I look? Yeah, this castle will go up long before that castle goes up. In fact, that castle is killed by the knights, oh no! Disaster. We got a treb out here. All right, 124 villagers here for Miguel. Uh, no trebs in production out of that castle quite yet, but this treb will start coming down. Where is that treb? I hear it, but I don't see it. Oh, there it is, okay. Yeah, maybe even delete delete a couple of those houses just so the knights can make sure to be able to protect that treb. Um, yeah, so this castle is toast. And newly, just definitely not in a position to be able to dive on those trebs. A treb out here. Another castle here for Miguel. And I, uh, yeah, I just don't think there's any stopping this push at, at this point. There's a lot of castles on the field for newly. That first one's down. This one's going to be down as well. Cavalier is in. No Farimba upgrade yet. Fingers crossed that we see it before the game ends. This is a tech I love. And there is the GG. Ryodan A taps out. And the week two set goes to Mascarela. So Bike Door did an excellent job ratting it out. And Miguel did an awesome job booming. Yeah, very well played. That was like, I think the least action I've seen on water in a Nomad game in a while. But 
uh, the land action more than made up for it. Uh, just a yeah, crazy game all around and very well played by Mosqueray. Let's take a quick look at the stats. Again, apologies that I'm I'm sick here. I know it's all stuffed up. I sound terrible, but um yeah. Thanks for bearing with me. Yeah, uh about what you'd expect in the KD department there for Miguel and Bike Door actually had a, a positive KD despite uh, having to resettle most multiple times. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, had a, almost twice as many resources as the next person. Yeah, 115 vils. All right. Well, that will do it for that division F set uh, from week two. Looking forward to casting some more sets here in the coming days. And yeah, looking forward to seeing what the results uh, for week three look like as they start coming in. Have a good night.